Hi, welcome to TechSR. In this video, we're going to see how to convert this JSON object into a C Sharp or .NET object. Let's say we are consuming some of the APIs or like Jira or something or any JSON formats which the client provides. We need to create this model first in our C Sharp file. Let's say this is a sample I have or we can browse like dummy JSON first. So what I can do is, I can just try for any of the dummy API. So users, to do's, these are a lot, lot of lists. So we can just try with, maybe we can try with post itself. So this is the list of post I have. So what I need is user ID, ID, title, body. Let's say. So what I need to do is, in our models, I will be creating a new file. If I do it manually. So in this, I will be having what is the property I have ID and then similarly I will create another property title. So like this I need to create everything manually and I don't know like how much this one exists. So here it contains only three or four objects I think but we can try with some more samples here. Let's say users. So here we can see there are a lot of properties of their ID, name and then address is a separate property, geo is a separate property. So it will be difficult to map everything in this case. So what I can do is, so we can just navigate to this URL, JSON to C Sharp. So here what I can try is, I can just copy this post and paste it here and I can just use convert. It will create an object for me. But you can see, right, so it is under all smaller cases. If I copy it in my class, so since I have created a class already, I just need to copy the properties here. It will show some warning like a naming convention because the naming should be caps as per C sharp. So what I can do instead is I can just use, use Pascal case checkbox here and try to convert again. It will create a Pascal case variable for me. Now I can copy this now. It will throw error because I don't have JSON properties. So for this I need to install Newtonsoft.json. So what I can do is I can just right click and quick action. It will show install Newton soft package, find the latest version. Okay, so I have installed Newton soft JSON, so all this has been resolved. So there is one more thing I can do on this. Sometimes you can see right, this is non nullable property. This warning is showing on. So what I can do here is use nullable types as well and convert. It will create a nullable property as well for me. So you can see it. This and all showing as a nullable property. And there are multiple options available. You can try them one by one. So what I am going to do next is, since it is a smaller one, I am going to try with a user object. It has lot of properties. So I am going to remove the nullable for now. Just use the Pascal case and convert it. So it created an object for me. So what I can do is, I am going to copy this entire thing copy to clipboard and I am going to create a new class here just name it as user.cs and I can remove this and paste it here ok so I have address company geo root is actually a user so I can just rename it to user That's it. So now I have created the user object. But you can see, right, there are a lot of classes created in the same class itself, which makes it difficult to read. So what I can do is, I can just control dot on this and move to separate file, address.cs. And same thing I can do for company.
now we have only user class defined here and all other properties are mentioned separately so address is moved to address class and same thing for company geo everything so we have created a class in few minutes instead of typing manually every time to get more useful information like this subscribe to techsr thanks for watching